guys, yesterday we lost the four hour and daily time frame. There's clearly a manipulation at 65K currently going on to keep the price below that. In this video, we are going to look into what are the incentives that currently are driving this activity from Wells and for how long do we think that they can get away not letting the price break above 65K. If you like this type of content, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I put out one of these videos. And yesterday we couldn't make it to 200 likes, maybe I'm being too greedy, but guys, please hit the like before you forget. Seeing that you're liking the videos keeps my motivation very high to make sure that you have access to all that information that you cannot find in any other crypto channel. Let's get into the content. Yesterday I shared on my Telegram, Instagram and Twitter accounts that we were breaking down on the four hour time frame. I mentioned as well that we were in the process of confirming a daily breakout as well and that hopefully we were going to be able to hold the point of control coming from the volume profile at 63k. As you can see on the daily time frame, we were able to once again get rescued by the point of control represented by this red line in here. The point of control is this horizontal line that represents the area of the highest volume traded at different prices within certain time span. In this case, starting from the high that we put in February. And you can tell that we are being squashed between being above the point of control, which is actually bullish, but not not being able to break above the highs that we put on the Trump pump back on the 24th of August. And the reason why yesterday I shared this is not necessarily to tell you that because we break below the four hour is the end of the world, but it means that we took a bullet when it comes to the momentum to the upside and we need to pay attention to more sources of information, potentially to find some confluence on a slowdown in this move up. Remember that our next task is to break about 64.7K and finally take all the liquidity that is right above us. But here's the thing, tomorrow the options are expiring and I have the feeling that there is an incentive from market maker to keep the price below 65k, possibly to prevent significant losses and maybe after those options are expired then that artificial pressure will finally go away so we can consume this liquidity and continue on our way up. If we focus on what's going on on the order book, you can see a ladder of bits in here pushing the price, but at the same time, we have the selling pressure at 65K. Each of these levels are of 600 all the way down. At the same time, looking at fire charts, you can see that since yesterday, things have turned completely upside down. We were talking about the volume located at 65K being 75 million a few weeks ago, and this slowly but steadily decreased increasing, which was bullish for a potential breakout to the upside, finally conquering that 65K. But as of today, you can see that instead of decreasing, it has increased significantly that resistance located at 65K. Today being almost 80 million. Earlier, it was even 86 million. And as a point of reference, the last times that we did a big dump, we have 67 million at the top as resistance. And on this top at 72K, we had 86 million. So we are very close to a significant resistance that could keep the price not being able to break above 65K. If we focus as well on this chart, we are looking at the top traders average leverage delta coming from Binance. And you can see that yesterday they were shorting significantly. These are top traders. And the last time that they were shorting was around here when we saw a drawdown of 20%. I'm not telling you necessarily that's what's going to happen in here. There's something significantly different at least of this time today where the red area is now gone but we are printing a green candle whereas in here as soon as we started the next day we started dumping heavy you can see also other areas in the past where the top traders shorts represented by this red were dominating on futures and if we look at spot you can see that the combined books when they reach these levels of highs if it gets it's very heated that is typically marking tops as you can see in this area early June followed by late July we are doing something very similar
are still not as high as this, which is 140 million, but now we are at 106 million. And my point is that even though we have this massive liquidity right on top of us, you have to take in consideration that right here at 65K, they are protecting that wall with around 80 million, which was enough to produce 20% drawdowns right now in the price. So this is just a warning. Maybe they are just going to protect that 65K up until the options expire, and then they might let the price go higher after that. But just consider that if we look at this as a W formation and we manage to break out above this neck the full high of this pattern is just good enough to take this full wall of stop losses and account liquidations so we have the perfect recipe to do that as long as we can overcome this 80 million in ask liquidity and what are the wells doing you can see that the brown wells which are the most significant ones from 1 million to 10 million are still buying but at very small pace compared to what they were doing in the past weeks the purple well is just going sideways and the rest of the pocket sizes are all selling to be fully honest here's my take on all of this that is currently happening this is just manipulation their options expiring it's clear to me they have an interest in keeping that below 65k whether it's because of the options or because they don't want to get liquidated what really does matter to me is seeing that bitcoin on the weekly time frame has confirmed a breakout above the volatility index as you can see here the federal reserve liabilities the nasdaq and the dollar index and so far none of these four strongest signals ever has faken out at least as of today and second that we are finally producing the full equation for another leg of the market which is having enough liquidity you can see that these hills in here are injections into china and we have already started that is evident in this side of the chart we knew about this weeks ago when we started seeing the first breakouts and people are just starting to talk about that on twitter the global liquidity index particularly if we connect it to an RSI it's evident that there is a breakout and a retest from monetary policies perspective the only thing that we want to put a final check is to see that the federal reserves goes into quantitative easing as you can see in here it still seems to be on the way down but two things are very promising one is that it's hitting the resistance for a potential breakout number two that this is forming a bottoming formation in here with an inverse head and shoulders that is a typical reversal pattern so if we were next week to see a breakout on the federal reserve in here that will be really promising because what we do want to see is the fed proving with their own actions that they are buying assets they are increasing their balance sheet taking the risk as well guys i'm currently hosting a position airdrop on bybit you trade with a hundred dollars and they give you five hundred dollars additional to trade on any of the coins listed on this page have a look at the first link in the description of this video click on it to activate the promotion and to see the instructions and if you open a bybit account using my referral link in the description as well you can unlock up to thirty thousand in rewards and not just that but you are going to get access for free to all my library of indicators you won't have to pay any membership just by heading into my website going into the account and connecting your bybit user id depending on the amount of volume that you're trading particularly if you trade with bots it's very easy to get a vip subscription join my discord server to see the instructions to get support on this i remind you that you can get a palau residence card i left you a video with instructions you can get it in one week and then get to trading on Bybit from pretty much anywhere in the world. If you already have a Bybit account, you can also transfer it with instructions on Discord. Talk to my team there if you need any assistance. I'll see you there.